Green Bay, Wisconsin. Every local knows there's really only one thing that gives this town global recognition. We are home to the world's largest steel hex nut. There's also a local sports franchise that a few people get excited about. Some of them even come to town to take in a game. The game day experience at Lambeau Field is unlike any in professional sports. And if you're one of the millions of visitors the Packers bring to the city every season, you may be asking yourself, besides the game, what else is there for me to do in Green Bay, Wisconsin? To take in all the city has to offer, while at the same time immersing yourself in football lore, take a stroll on the Packers Heritage Trail. The free walking, biking, and or driving tour throughout Green Bay and De Pere. The trail features 25 commemorative bronze plaques located at sites where the history of the Packers and their connection to the fans unfolded. The trail is divided into three sections. The City Walk, the Packing Plant Spur, and the Lambo Lombardi Spur. So join me in Cheesehead TV as we journey down the Packers Heritage Trail and get to know Titletown, USA. The City Walk consists of 17 landmarks where much of the Packers' history unfolded over their first 50 years. The journey starts at the Neville Public Museum, where you can learn about not only the past of the Green Bay Packers, but the history of Green Bay and the surrounding area. The first steps on your City Walk journey take you over the Fox River, over a bridge named for Packer legend Ray Nitschke. Once you've crossed over the Fox River, you'll stroll down the city deck, a newer city amenity lined with spots for food, drink, and entertainment, like the appropriately named Hagemeister Park. As you continue down the city deck, turn down Cherry Street to catch a must-see stop along your football journey through history, the Packers Heritage Trail Plaza. Here you can pose with life-size statues of Earl Curley Lambeau, Johnny Blug McNally, and other Packer legends forever shrined in bronze. The plaza's backdrop offers a history lesson of the Lambeau to Lombardi era, the dawning years of this historic franchise. The tallest building behind the statue plaza is the next stop on your Packers history tour, the Hotel Northland. From its opening in March of 1924 and through the 1960s, the Hotel Northland served as the social hub of Green Bay, not to mention the city's nerve center on home game weekends. Nearly every visiting team that came to play the Packers stayed here well into the 1970s. In 2019, the Hotel Northland completed a $35 million renovation, restoring the hotel to its former glory while adding modern amenities and dining. As the trail continues, you'll pass historic buildings that housed behind-the-scenes operations, like Curly Lambeau's office, and the historic Bellin Building, which today houses numerous tenants as well as a great spot for a cup of coffee on your walk. From the Bellin Building, you can head towards the river and continue south along its banks. The Riverwalk Trail continues past the former Milwaukee Road Depot, the place where throngs of fans welcomed home the world champions in 1931, 36, and 39. Just across the street from the former Milwaukee Road Depot is an amazing spot in downtown Green Bay. And while not an official part of the Packers Heritage Tour, it contains a priceless piece of Packers memorabilia. And stepping through these doors is like stepping back in time. The Automobile Gallery, where the automobile is the art. One of their signature pieces is Bart Starr's Super Bowl I Corvette. After checking out the cars, the tour continues with more historical behind-the-scenes Packer operations, like the original Packers office building, as well as the Elks Club building, where the first Packers Hall of Fame induction ceremony was held in 1970. If you're going to pray for a Packers win, celebrate Mass at St. Willibrod Catholic Church, where Vince Lombardi faithfully attended morning service. The Brown County Courthouse, where the first stockholders meeting was held in 1923. 
Just across the street is the former home of the Columbus Community Club. In the 1920s, prior to radio broadcasts, Telegraph sent a play-by-play, -play, which crowds would gather to read as they were posted outside this building. Years later, this building became home to Green Bay's first TV station, WBAY-TV, where the Vince Lombardi show was taped. You'll also stop by the Green Bay Press-Gazette, which has been covering the area since 1866. The final few stops on the city walk require a little more walking, so a bike or a car may be the best way to access these Far East locations. But these are stops you won't want to miss. Hagemeister Park is where the very first Acme Packers tore up the tundra in 1919. During games, a hat was passed among the spectators to collect donations for the team. City Stadium became the next home for the Packers, just adjacent to Hagemeister Park. When the Packers moved to Lambeau Field in 1956, City Stadium became home to East High School Athletics. In 2008, renovations restored this high school field to its former aesthetic when it was home to the Green Bay Packers. Across the East River from City Stadium, take a moment to pay tribute to the birthplace of team founder Earl Curley Lambeau. Before heading downtown to complete the city walk, jump onto the next leg of the Packers Heritage Trail, the Packing Plant Spur. The Packing Plant Spur is designed as a self-guided bike ride. The Spur Trail starts just north of City Stadium and follows the East River Greenway and the Baird Creek Parkway. You'll see the Packers practice fields, Bellevue Park, the Indian Packing Plant and Acme Packing Plant, the original sponsors of the Green Bay Packers. And while you're in town, make sure to see what's happening at the Riverside Ballroom. This iconic venue is not only an amazing part of Green Bay Packers history, but also the history of music. This historic venue hosted the Winter Dance Party on February 1st, 1959, the second to last performances for three of music's greats, Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper. Wrap up the city walk by crossing the Bart Star Bridge and walking over to the final stop of the tour, the Chicago Northwestern Depot, where fans came to town to take in the Green Bay Packers and also welcome the Packers back from championships. Today, it has amazing food and makes for a perfect final stop on your walking tour. For the adventurous diehard fans, the Lombardi Lambo Spur takes you south along the Fox River Trail. You'll see spots like Curly Lambeau's gravesite, Vince Lombardi's home, and the Union Hotel, a historic establishment that carries on old traditions to this day. Plus, you'll see St. Norbert College, home to the Packers training camp. There is so much to see and do in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and the Packers Heritage Trail is a great way to start scratching the surface while also feeling the deep connection this city has to its team. Join us in the next Exploring Title Town as we crack open some of the best craft brews in Green Bay. At Cheesehead TV, we are devoted to Packer fans worldwide, and we hope this video helped you feel a little more connected to the city and our Green Bay Packers. Go Pack Go!